What's up guys? So in this video, I wanna talk about the best way to get quality feedback from your users. And this is a video I've been thinking about making for a while, but then I got this comment recently that said, I'm working on a few app ideas and I was wondering how do you obtain quality feedback from users? Do you use Firebase Analytics, Sentry, Hotjar, or is there a better qualitative approach? Well, I'll say, First of all, before I get into what I think is the best approach, I'll say we need to split these into two categories. One is getting insight into how your app is currently performing. And the other one is getting insight into what your users are doing so that you can uh, potentially improve the app in the future. How your app is currently performing, that would be Sentry, because Sentry you know, monitors for like errors, uh, crashes, performance problems, things like that. So that's not uh, the topic of this video, so we'll ignore that. Now, the the topic of this video is, is getting feedback from users. And Firebase Analytics and Hotjar could be good options. I will say I've never used Hotjar. I, th I don't know if I think it maybe is mostly for web. But, uh, but I have used... Uh, um, one analytics tool, or at least I try to use an analytics tool that would recreate the the path that your users took in the app. Um, and it was a few years ago, but Apple rejected the build because they, because it was like a privacy concern. I think I can't remember. Maybe the app like recorded the screen or something. But anyways, you, you know, when it comes to these analytics and seeing what your users are doing in the app and, and getting that data, you just got to be aware of like what these libraries are gathering, what kind of data. To answer the question, what's the best approach? Well, I don't think any of those are the best approach um, because we're starting a new app. Like he said, we got a, he has a few app ideas. He wants to try them out. So we're starting a new app. The very best way to get user feedback is to just add an email address and and say, contact me at this email address. Now, if, if you want, you know, React Native has like a, a way so you can make it a link so they can click on it and open up their uh, email inbox, but you don't even have to do that much. And there's two reasons why I think this is the best way to get user feedback. The first and least important is that you're just you're you're trying to validate an idea, so you don't want to spend a bunch of time integrating analytics if nobody cares about the app you're building. So um, the first reason is it just it's a time saver, you know, it's quick and easy. The second reason and the main reason is that if somebody uses your app or they're you know they're, they're regularly using your app and they take the time to email you feedback, then you know that you're on to something, that the idea that you're testing out is good and you solve a problem and people are interested in it. And the reverse is also uh, true. If people don't email you, uh, you probably don't have a worthwhile idea. You know, maybe you don't have enough users. Um, you got to have some users to get this feedback. But if nobody's writing you, if you get out a basic MVP and nobody's writing you about what features they want in the app, then it's time to either scrap the app or change the what change the approach of the app. You know, the problem you're trying to solve so come out in a different way. And that's why I think that uh, a simple email is the best way. Um, and then down the line, you can add in analytics because at the beginning, you're not going to have enough users. Um, you know, not a large enough sample size of of of, uh, of in the app when you're first starting out. So you can do the analytics later. Put an email in there. If nobody's hitting you up with feature requests, it'll tell you everything you need to know. Anyways, that's it. See you next time.